Hello Vondikos here, welcome back to another episode. Today we are building an exhibit for Okapis. As you can see, a bit of a longer video. We are <laughs> trying to make up for the lackluster episode of yesterday. Um, so yeah, I got requested an Okapi exhibit 800 times <laughs> by Ethereal, so I figured let's do one. And a bigger exhibit was long overdue. So, yeah. Um, mostly inspired by random exhibit sketches I found on the internet and the Okapi exhibit at Dierpark Beekse Berge over here in the Netherlands. Because that's the Okapi exhibit I know best. Or maybe the aviary they have in Blijdorp, which is a bit weird, but <laughs> still kind of a reference uh, thing. I started off with this building, which I spent way too much time on again, but the end result is kind of interesting. So we have the clay frame with a kind of old-ish brownish brick texture to kind of detail it, kind of break up the big clay-ish and make it seem like the clay has fallen away a little bit because of old age, but it's more theming purposes. It's just something different and I kind of like the effect. For some odd reason it doesn't really... Uh, you don't really notice it when looking at it in the background. You're like, oh it's a boring square building, but then when you take a closer look you're like, oh wait, there are different textures, which is cool. Which is also kind of the purpose. Um, I wanted to make a roof, but then the roof would be way too steep and too high at the edge because I wanted it one way slanted. So we opted for a flat roof with the uh, eaves and stuff. Because the only other option was the new slanted things by uh, Sophie from Zeta Designs, which are on a little bit less steep slope, but those are glass and I'm not making a glass roof for this. It didn't fit it at all. So this would be better. I like these tiny wooden uh, sticky out bits. <laughs> these overhang things and this side of the building. They add depth and detail, which is always a good thing. And I added a rim of uh, beams, horizontal beams, to make it more interesting and break up the big clay space, but as you can see the brick still comes in front of it, just I don't know why, I thought this looked better, it breaks up the frame, which is a good thing. We also messed about with the uh, different paths, just to have something interesting happening, because that's something I like doing, but never really do, <laughs> I like seeing it. And I wanted these windows out of the bookshelves again, but they didn't align really well, so we opt for the ugly <laughs> windows of my building, so they don't really fit the rest of the build, but they're the best option I had. I could have maybe made them out of the tall bookshelves, I think of now, but oh well, the past is in the past. The damage has been done. So around here we finally start working the exhibit itself, I think, hopefully, yes. Um, and I started out with a little viewing post in the middle, which is something I saw in a lot of Okapi exhibits on the internet, so I figured let's do that in here as well. Mm, the exhibit is quite big for my standards, <laughs> and it's in an odd shape because you have this U shape with the big building on one of the sides, which is different. Um, I like the effect we have in this uh, viewing post, because we have the corner roof pieces uh, diagonally placed inside of the normal roof pieces, which gives this star shape, and on the inside it also looks kinda cool. So yeah, I want this raised viewing post, which gave a view of the entire exhibit, and that's what we did. The foliage in this exhibit is a bit, uh, a bit weird, but I kind of like it, it's more of a ground cover foliage kind of thing. Not a whole lot of uh, fancy bushes and stuff, more grasses. 
and some different glasses that we normally use. More of the uh, Oblivion glasses, glasses, glasses from Set Designs. So that's cool. Changing it up is always a good thing. And I made the very tedious process of adding the posts to the fence because I wanted a low fence, but still a strong fence. But I wanted it to be able to see something over the fence from the main zoo path. So this was the best option I could think of. Especially the best option fitting the colors of the rest of this whole build. I did opt for the green uh, chaining fence for the rest of the viewing post because I think that looks good. It mixes good with the foliage. And this gate kind of thing to the viewing post is also something I saw on the internet <laughs> on an, uh, a sketch of an Okapi exhibit. I just thought it was a neat idea. And I figured I could quite literally recreate it in Sutakun, so this is pretty much what I saw on the sketch. So that's neat. Mm -hmm. The surrounding foliage is also uh, the usual. Starting off with big trees and then filling in uh, with smaller bushes and stuff to fill in the gaps. But also making sure to mix the small bushes a little bit and not make it boring and unrealistic. It needs to be natural and for it to be natural you need to get rid of all the straight lines. So you get more of a, uh, a natural feel to it. A bushy feel, which we uh, managed to do. Um, yeah. What else is there to say? I start with the the crosses and stuff. I still add the bushes, but I only add the bushes in the part surrounding the viewing post. And why I did that is because it's a bit darker than what the rest of the foliage is, so it kind of adds a bit of depth and makes it look like it is bit steeper than it actually is so that's a cool effect I didn't bother to do the inside because I yeah I could have I probably should have but <laughs> the episode is already 10 minutes long so at a certain point you have to you have to stop and I will leave it to the imagination some point I'm, in some point in the future I will do a stable but I, I just don't want to do stables they're not fun and I don't know how to do stables, so I'd rather do stuff I know I can do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I filled this plaza up with some planters and some benches and some random signs just to have something over there. Originally, I wanted all these darker patches to be planters, but I figured that would be weird because we have strong foliage, but... Oh well, having different uh, path colors is always a good thing. So yeah, an Okapi exhibit. Finally something big again. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.